The largest three and a half ton or 3,500 kilo van that you can get. What is it? Let's have a look. The Iveco Daily 3510. Right, this Iveco Daily 3510. It's the highest cube van you can get at 3,500 kilos, 4.2 metres long. Now, it's a high volume van, as you can see. High roof. Now, the thing you've got to check for on these high roofs, make sure there is no damage, there is no water ingress whatsoever. Damage on these, if somebody's been under something low, always make sure you know the height of the vehicle, because if it's damaged, you'll get water into the back. It can cause a lot of problems check on that. The other thing on these that you will suffer with is corrosion. Now corrosion you will get on a lot of these, you're going to get corrosion around these back door edges. Very bad corrosion along here, get them checked. Now let's go and have a look down the side of the vehicle, let's go and see what we got down there. What we need to check for on these is rust and corrosion. Now the thing to look for around here is rust and corrosion around these wheel arches, also on the inside and down these edges, check for that. Also, rust and corrosion around these marker lights. Now, because the marker lights are so proud of the body, you will get damage to the marker lights and the body and corrosion. Check it. Now, the other thing to look for on a van of this size, 200,000 kilometres. Now, the van should look like this, straight, flat panels. Normally, they look like a battlefield. Check them, because if they're damaged, they will leak water, especially down seams like this and roof seams. Now the roof, being a fibreglass or glassonite roof, the way they're fitted on, if they're knocked or damaged, they will leak along these edges. Check them. Get it properly checked over. Now let's go and have a look inside, see what we've got. A large spacious cab. Now this is just what you want if you're doing the long hauls. Dual passenger seat, plenty of room. And the things they do think about in here, you've got a lockable glove box here right by where the driver is, so you can get to all your documentation, everything nicely stored away. Couldn't wish for better, could you? Now, the thing you might need also, do you tow a trailer? If you are towing a trailer and you're doing it for hire and reward, uh, towing other people's goods, you might need one of these. Now, that's a tachograph. Now, you need to check with a dealer or with your national traffic area to find out, do you need a tachograph fitted if you tow a trailer? Check because it can be an expensive fine if you get caught without one. Now, let's go and have a look and see what powers this beast under the bonnet. Let's go and have a look. Okay, under the bonnet, 2.5 litre turbo diesel. Plenty of grunt for a vehicle of this size. This will pull everything along. Thing to check for, head gaskets. Just make sure that the vehicle's got a service history with it because they are prone to head gaskets. You can check that there's no water in the oil, Get a good check of the engine. Now, for four and a half thousand pounds, that's not a bad buy. Just make sure it's got a service history with it though. It's a good van. You've bought your high capacity van. Now remember, that will carry 1,240 kilos. Make sure you don't overload the axles. By law, there is a weight on each axle. Make sure you know it. Make sure also you know your towing weights. You might have only paid four and a half thousand pounds for that van, which is a good buy. But just be careful, if you break the law towing or overweight, you can find yourself in fines with that amount of money. So think about it, talk to your dealer, make sure you know the law before you set out on the road. 